What's up? My name's Ryan, and I want to show you how to set up your fan pole. So, when your fan pole comes to you in the mail, this is how you'll get it. Open it up. You've got your top pole here with the finial on it, a couple of clamps on it. You've got your bottom pole right here. We send it with a couple of extra clamps if you want to fly a bigger flag or if you want to, uh, if you need to replace yours. It comes with a hardware package. We'll go through all these pieces when we demonstrate how to put it together. A little brochure and then your bottom base. That's your fan pole. Okay, so for the first step, what we have here is the hitch base. You can see it has three different holes for adjustment and how far you want to put it into your receiver on your vehicle. It has a tension screw for when you put the, the pole into the base, you can tighten it up. And then it also has this pin hole uh, for locking the pole into the base itself. So first what we do here is we take this hitch base, we slide it in, you can slide it into whatever uh, hole you want. You gotta grab your hardware pack now, and there is the, uh, the hitch base pin. Grab those two. If you take it, let's see, slide this through here, take your pin, and lock it on. Now it's locked in there. Okay, now we got our hitch base in. We've got our bottom pole here. We've got our top pole. You take this bottom pole, just slide it into uh, your base here. Grab one of your locking pins in your hardware kit. Take that locking pin. So you got this bottom pin locked in. Grab the cotter pin, just push it on through. Now it's locked in there. You've also got this set screw on the back side. Tighten it up, but you've got a security uh, wrench inside your kit here. So you can grab this security tool right here and just tighten that pole. Doesn't have to be super tight right there, but you want to make sure that it's, it's tight. So that's tight. You grab your, your top pole right here, slide it right into the bottom pole, grab your other uh, security pin here. You got a cotter pin with the security piece just slide that through so you've got this set screw right here you can just hand tighten it up then grab your security tool and tighten it on just hand tight these are a new resin clamp they grab the pole differently than our old clamps did and this is from really customer feedback but there's one uh, difference on these clamps is you need to make sure that when you put the flag on these clamps, that you put the flag on the outside by this bolt head uh, on the outside of the clamp, not in between the clamp. Because if you put this grommet in between the clamp, it won't close tight enough to the pole, and what'll happen is this will raise up as you drive along. So we've got this bottom clamp here. We've got a top clamp up here. If you grab this bottom clamp, you just undo this, this screw right here. Grab your flag. You got your flag here. I got the bottom grommet right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this screw out. I'm gonna put my bottom grommet right there. And then just tighten it on with my hand. So I've got that bolt head next to the grommet that pushes it against this, this clamp. What I need to do now is take my uh, security tool here and then just tighten it up. What you'll find by doing that is now this thing won't slide up the pole as you're speeding along down the, the road. It's gonna stay where it's at by putting that grommet on the outside and not putting it in between the clamp. So now what we have is this other grommet here. We have the top clamp. I'll just pull it down. Uh, again, pull this bolt out with the washer. Put the washer on the outside of the grommet here with the flag. Put this back through. 
tighten it up as much as you can with your hand. And you're going to want to raise it up where you want it, right there. You grab your security tool here and you tighten that up. That's how you put your flag on. That's how it'll stay so that the flag stays wide. And that's how you install your fan pole. Now that you've got your fan pole installed, you'll see that you still have some pieces in your hardware set right here. This is the hitch stabilizer. And the reason why we've included this is because when we came out with the first iteration of the fan pole, we got some comments back that there was some wobble in the fan pole. And so people didn't like that, although it's still safe, it's locked in and everything. Uh, they didn't love having this wobble in there. So we had to come up with a way to eliminate that. And what this is, is a hitch stabilizer. You grab this piece out, there's some washers and some nuts. I'm going to show you how to install this. You'll notice on this uh, flat piece of metal right here, that has got a little lip on it. You want that lip pointing down towards the fan pole right there, just like that. Then you've got this U-bolt. You take this U-bolt, feed it up through, just like this here. And then you've got some washers. Put those washers on with the locking nut. A washer, a locking washer, and then we've got these locking nuts with the synthetic threads in there. You just tighten this on here, take the other one, and tighten that on there. So you've got that right there. We include this wrench to tighten these up for those this half inch wrench that so you can tighten it up. I found it's a lot easier to get a socket wrench with the half inch head here. You just grab it. You notice now there's absolutely no wobble in that. So that's why we came out with the hitch tightener. You can put this plate on the bottom side or the top side, but it eliminates all the wobble in that pull. You see I'm moving the vehicle with the pull now. So that's the full fan pull setup. Hope you love it. Let us know.